do doing the drill. Watch. So watch what happens. You actually loaded it up. This is actually pretty good. Watch. Now look at your legs. Look at that. Now if you did that in your real swing, we wouldn't have a problem. No, am I, should I, I shouldn't crouch like that, should I? Well, your left leg should straighten. There's a vertical force at impact. That vertical force is like a squat and a jump. But, but anyway, the handle was forward of the ball. Now the reason this drill is good for you is because if you hit fat shots, you need to do this drill. Yeah. Yeah. And you see where you finished? Yeah. Well, normally you don't finish there. You're normally falling back. Now, okay, that so drill... I have to keep this out. Correct. So here I am. Watch, uh, Larry. I want you to just practice this at home in slow motion. Yeah, but you, here's the difference. Your arms were straight through, but mine seemed to be flicking the wrists. I what, guess you are. Oh, I'm definitely unloading or releasing, but watch how I load the right arm. And see how the shaft, what we're trying to do is increase the angle between the left arm and shaft. That's the whole point of this exercise. Here's the angle right here. Right here's your angle. Now watch how as I increase that angle. Well, yeah, that, you're increasing your lag so you get more whip. Yeah, that's the whole point of this exercise. We want to create lag. We don't want to take it away. When you hit it fat, you don't shift your weight. You don't have any lag. That was good. Didn't hit it solid, but that's OK. 